Hi guys, in this video we will be continuing our project in Rail 7 using the hot wire. Last time we've been um, the creating the project. When you create the project, it will go it will go in here or it will update the index as like a single page application or progressive web applications that we can use in the future. So here we will be adding edit in here and then I think we can add also delete button. And then instead of re-rendering to another page or instead of using the Ajax in Rails 6 or Rails 5 before, we will be using the hot wire. So what we are trying to achieve is once we have an edit um, button in here, it will be a prepend in here, a append the form, the another form that we can edit this one, for instance. So yeah, let's dig in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my um, code. And then I'll go to here and then first thing first that I need to do is um, yeah I think we have here the project which is we have already have the DOM we have the turbo frame and now I need to go to edit um, yeah we need to do first in here we need to add in uh, in another deflex which is justify content between so it can separate it so what we're going to do is we're going to put the vote in the lower part so to make it a little nice and then here we will add the link to link uh, to sorry, to edit and then uh, kind of forgot with what is the url for that so i'll type rails s uh, rails routes and then g and then let's say project then we need to grab the edit project, edit project path, then edit project uh, path, and then here we can add, let me do like this so it's clean, and then the project, and then I think that was it for the edit. So let's see, and refresh, so we have edit here, so we if we inspect, we can see here, if we can render yeah i think what we're gonna do is to create a turbo inside um, the edit so when we when we call the the link to the turbo to the uh, specific project it will re-render the the form and then then we can edit so what i'm gonna do is go to the codes um yeah go here and then i need to go to the edit so what I'm gonna do here is to a little bit more layout. First, let's add the turbo frame, turbo frame tag. Then we need to add the DOM ID, which is we call it add project. Is that correct? Add project, yeah. And do. Then since we are using the variable add project, so we'll be using that as a specific, um, how do you call it? Record. And put here end and then yeah and then instead of using this one we don't need the show anymore we can use we can just say cancel cancel and then here we already have that one we already have this one and then i think it will work let's see once i click edit so you can see here it re render and then if you go here i can cancel so let's make it a little bit nice and let's wrap up with the uh, card and then I'm going to put card body and then here we can put the, uh, the edit and then I'll do like this, do like this and then what we can do is let's just put a 5 to make it nice. So we are not on the UI part, we are not uh, refurnishing it, but you know, just to make it a little uh, clean a bit. So once you click edit, you can do in here and then say edit. So instead of re-rendering to another page or refreshing the page, it will go to the this one and then you will you will see here that is reading the DOM. You can see here that uh, the turbo frame which is what we added and then you have a project inside inside of the project which is the tables projects then you have a specific um, uh, project which is the id 
that we added and then from that we added the uh, how do you call it the edit fun the edit information which is the form itself that we render here and then uh, yeah i think that was it and then once i click update it will update in here so you can see here instead of uh, refreshing the page it calling the frame and so let's say this is uh, the first frame and then the, we will call the fir uh, the and the frame and then we will just prepend or attach uh, the frame so it will be updated so instead of re uh, refreshing the whole page so if you can see in here this is what is happening on the console so we have here that once it's created once it's updated the turbo stream or the hardware it will um, use the turbo stream and then at the same time once it is submit uh, it will look on the set project which is the specific project and then at the same time it will append the uh, how do you call it uh, the form and that we the one that we added in here the record and then from that it will be completed and returned back to the projects so yeah uh, that's the beauty on the edits it's very simple you don't need to be worrying the other things like what we did before in the ajax or yeah it's uh ugly when you are using it re-rendering to another page but it's up to you on how you can make it on your in your project or what is the requirements of the project but this time so we can show how the uh, the hardware is working so now we will move to um delete so let's do that so so i think we need to go first to the model but let's visit first the controller so we have here the update so we didn't do anything here about the turbo so that is what we are trying to do in the edit and then at the same time we will go here to destroy and uh, we don't need to do anything also in here actually we don't need a format that json here but we are using scaffolding in the beginning of the project so that's why it is in here but in the next um, next two episode we will do from the scratch instead of using the scaffolding so now we will go to the project model and then i think i need to add here update i think this is destroy yeah destroy commit yeah destroy commit and then we'll put here broadcast uh, broadcast and then i think remove remove to yeah that's what i remember on this one and then we will put the uh, projects i think project or projects but let's see this one so it will be broadcasting to the project which is what we have things in here uh, to the project turbo stream from projects so in the other way but i try to practice that one also instead of using that one this one you can just use a thing broadcast um, broadcast based on documentation or broadcast but for now we will be using this one so we have a specific um, um, actions okay so now I will go to the projects index or oh, sorry project uh, underscore that project so it is in here so we will be adding here the turbo which is the method which is delete um you'll use button two so what we are trying to achieve is instead of when you click this one instead of automatically destroy it will pop up a message hey do you want to delete this one you give another chance to the user so they can uh, think okay do i need to delete this or not so the normal user experience so what i'm gonna do is a uh, to make it easy so we can add in here delete and then we have here the project which is the project and then the method will be using delete what i'm gonna do is to add my previous code on the other so we can just copy paste in here and then i can give you an um, information so here we will be uh, we will be popping the the form and then we will call by a turbo and then we will ask the user here hey are you sure you want to delete this one and then we will be adding the bootstrap 
which is a simple bootstrap of the button. Then uh, let's see if this is correct. So what we have in here, I think we have a double um, comma. So we have now here the delete and we have over uh, code source in here. Okay, so yeah, let's see that one. So we have now the delete and once I click the delete, what's going to happen, it will ask for, so I'm gonna cancel. You can cancel also what you can see here if I go to inspect and then click the delete. So you can see here there is a validations of turbo in the delete in here turbo confirmations and then are you sure so once i click in this one and then it will automatically uh, delete instead of refreshing the page so let's make another again uh, project uh, turbo and then create uh, project and turbo to then uh, you can create and then here you can edit uh, uh, edit turbo turbo and then update the project and then you have this one and then edit again you have updated and then you can click uh, update so i think that was it and that is um, simple in how to use the turbo or the hardwire on how it works single page and now we will move on and how we can do a voting in here so now just to encourage you how to how it's working in um, I will do Safari here so it will automatically update for you so let's say I have another user here so I want to edit updated by Ryan and then you have here so you have Ryan in here and then at the same time if I delete you can see it will delete automatically in here instead of refreshing the page so yeah that was it and that's the beauty of it and then we will continue in the next video to add the vote and yeah thank you for watching and see you on the next episode or next video